Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over changes in Angular and Dart 1.24 and above. Okay, so this is basically just a very quick video. What changes have actually happened? So number one, Angular 2 is no longer called Angular 2 because they're advancing. It's Angular 3, Angular 4, and it's going up. So instead, what they decided to do is just change it to Angular. Okay, so that's keep that in mind. Angular instead of Angular 2, you have to go back import them, change it, all those imports, pubspec.yaml, making sure these are all Angular and not Angular 2, okay? So that's number one. Number two, the use of Dartium is being deprecated as of 1.24 and above. I think it still does work, but they're basically saying, move away from it in the future, Dartium is no longer going to be updated. So what are we going to use? I'm going to go ahead and use Firefox from now on, okay? And in this particular situation, why do this? Because it takes a long time to compile these. So I have a simple, I'll go over this, um, by the way, in the future, in a future video, this Angular web application. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. What I'm going to go ahead and do is to pipe pub serve. All right, and so I'm going to load this up. And if we remember from past times, it's going to start loading up and it's going to take a little while. It's going to take a little while. And so can you imagine every single little change taking this long a time every single time? Well, that's what it was like before, and it was very annoying. So that's why they had to use Dartium. Things have changed a little bit, and they made this very, see, that's how long it took. So very annoying if you wanted to just test your code. So what they did was they changed it around a little bit. So what happens is every little change it gets compiled, but just that change is, is compiled and everything else stays the same. And then it's sent through the web server that's built in. Okay, so for example, I'm going to put like a one right here. Okay, no one right there. And you saw how long that actually took, right? So I'm just going to save this. I don't have to hit pub serve again, right? Because all I did is save this and then I reload it. And it comes back up much quicker. Okay, it's almost as fast as using Dartium, maybe not quite as much, but there's always a little bit of a give and take. Now we have to support Dartium as well as another web page to make it nice and simple. You can now see what it looks like in any type of browser itself. So I'll take this something off again. Notice how quickly, so you have to compile the system once your application, but once you do it again, once you do any editing from there on, it's gonna come up very quickly. Okay, so those are the two major changes, both with Dart, 1.24 and above, including Dart 2.0, which is around the corner, as well as in Angular, which is no longer Angular 2. Okay? Thanks.